Hi everybody, I'm Heather Thomas. As you just saw, I do a lot of singing while drumming. Uh, so I've got five tips for you to help you strengthen your singing while you're drumming. Here we go. Uh, my first tip is to start from a balanced seated position. Because you're singing, you need your full breath support. Uh, and you'll catch a lot of drummers kind of like slouch like this, or, or will play kind of pushed forward a little bit. Um, but we really, like, so we gotta stay right, nice and balanced. Uh, and you're gonna have your mic right in front of your face, not off to the side, not like, you know, where you have to reach for it or up or down. You want it right in front of your face, make sure it's out of your stick path, right? But that's the first tip, making sure that you're starting from a balanced, relaxed position. Okay, the second tip is uh, figure, thinking about your breathing. Uh, when you, you need to breathe before you sing. So you have to figure out where in the song are you going to be breathing. Uh, and if that's in the middle of a beat, let's say, you know, you start singing on beat one, you might want to breathe on beat three or four of the bar before. So you can practice that. You can practice taking a breath to the downbeat. Let's say that we'll start out with just a downbeat. So if you're playing a beat like this, uh, I'll, I'm going to show you what it's like to breathe on beat four. Right? So you just like practice it, taking a breath in and a breath out, like in rhythm, right? One, two, three. Right? So just practicing making sure that you can breathe in time and then it's not going to mess up your drum part. You can practice breathing in other places too. You know, maybe you're going to want to breathe. It depends on where your entrance is. So basically figure out where, where you're going to sing and back up a beat or so from that. That's where you're going to want to practice making sure you take a nice, big, deep, full breath. Tip number three is to be confident and solid in your groove before you try singing over it. Um, one of the things that makes singing while drumming much easier is when you don't have to think about your groove. When your groove is so natural and so easy that it's not taking up any brain space, it's not taking any processing power. So if you're playing a groove, I'm playing a simple 16th note groove. And you need to be so confident in this groove that you could talk over it, you could sing over it, you could do math equations, or whatever it is. But the groove, just not nice and steady, nice and solid. And start simple. Start with something that's easy for you to do. If singing is new to you, don't make the drum parts super complicated. It's really fun to sing over super complicated drum parts, but that's not where you need to start. So make sure your groove is nice and solid. Now the next part is a little bit more complicated because it deals with finding out where the rhythms of your voice line up with your hands and feet. So if you're playing a steady groove, and for instance, I'm just playing an alternating 16th note groove. And so you can start there. When you're practicing and figuring out what your rhythms are, maybe just start with 16th notes and see how that sounds. So I'm gonna sing for you the first line of that song. It starts on beat four, which means I might take a breath on beat three. And then I'm going to start singing, and then you'll, and then I'll explain what I'm thinking about. One, two. Open up, love. Can't you see? There's a hole in you and me. Now, what I'm thinking about there is what hand each word is coming on. So, if we start with just beat four, it's a, it's a eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes. Open up. Four and a. So in a 16th note, that's going to be right, right, left. Open up. Then the next one is on another upbeat. So it's open up, love, can't you see? So uh, you can see that rhythm written out uh, for and a, e, two, and a. And you can do that with the entire song. Just figure out where it happens. And then you can practice that. Practice tying what you're singing to what you're playing with your hands. Open up, love, can't you see? There I did accents on each of the notes. That way you're really connecting what's lining up with it. Um, and it, it's another form of like independence. You know how when you're working on, you know, playing different patterns with each hand, eventually each of the individual pieces becomes kind of natural. You don't really have to think about it. That's what your voice is going to be like as well. You'll be able to just sing over the top of whatever is happening below. But it, sometimes it takes that time to make the connections. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left. 
Um, and so that's, that's one, one way to really solidify your parts. So tip number five, once you're comfortable with where your rhythms are lining up um, and it feels like you can just kind of sing your parts over whatever it is that you're playing, um, I like to really practice the entrances. If your entrances are nice and strong, chances are you'll be fine from there because your groove's already solid, you've already practiced your rhythms, um, but I find it really valuable to practice your entrances. Doing this in a groove, I find, is the most effective way. So what I'm going to do is just loop the drum beat, and I'm going to practice that entrance. And it's just going to be, open up, love. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do that over and over until that part feels so easy that that's how I'm just going to be able to start the song. So here's the beat. Open up, love. Open up, love. Open up, love. Open up, love. And you'll notice I'm breathing in the same space every time. I'm always breathing on beat three. And if you can kind of program that in, then you don't have to think about it. And, you know, as you go, you, the groove will become more solid. The vocals will become more natural. The longer you do it, the less you have to think about the rhythms as well. Like, eventually, you're, it's not going to sound like you're singing complicated rhythms. You're just going to be singing whatever it is that you're saying. But practicing it in this context, in the groove, is one of the best ways to make that singing feel very natural, very integrated. So there's some tips for singing and drumming. I hope that helps you get started or clear some things up for you if this was something you're struggling with. Um, if you are enjoying my music, you can find it at www.heatherthomasmusic.com or you can follow me on Instagram as Heather on Drums. I'm going to play you out with the rest of the song. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it. Open up, love. Can't you see? There's a hole in you and me. At the bottom, we can meet and find the light. You can look for it out there. Find the meaning everywhere. But you've got Close your eyes to find your sight The great ones all found the feeling in their tones Brought it tingling past the corners of their love And it pulses through your veins See your thoughts and not your brain And your spirit's